Filmmaking takes a lot more than just the edit or just the shoot. There's a lot of pre-production that goes into it, a lot of planning, a lot of thinking, and a lot of just putting ideas down on paper. Today I want to take you through how I organize my projects and use project management to the fullest of its potential. As I've started this YouTube journey, I have found my videos are getting bigger in the realms of storytelling. My ideas are becoming more and more frequent and have more legs to them. And I need somewhere to digest all of that because my previous methods were just not working for me anymore. First things first, Notion is not a sponsor of this video. I chose this app with the thought of using a couple and picking what works best for me. And right off the bat with some deep diving into the workflow of this app, it was the right one for me and I dove deep into it. So as we start, I just wanna show you guys really how Notion works. And you start on this homepage and right here you have a homepage and right here I have Joseph's homepage. And from there I have my YouTube videos and my freelance projects. So I'm gonna hop into my YouTube videos. It looks like an Excel spreadsheet, but I'm gonna jump into what a specific project looks like. And for this example, I'm gonna use the video we're working on now, Notion. So as you jump in, you see it gets a lot deeper than just an Excel spreadsheet. You hop in and it starts off with this customizable kind of checklist. And that's how I organize everything on really the back end of this. So I have video ID and with that, with any new idea I get, I just go a number up. So the next idea would be number 24. And then I have my series. And I think of series as how this would live within the playlist section of YouTube. So within here I have reviews, my vlog, lifestyle, let me explain, tech talk re recaps, tech talk productivity, lifestyle and first impressions. I have all of those and if you go to my YouTube channel, you see those are the playlists and that's how I really divvy up series. And then the most probably important tab is the status. So when an idea is born, it can be anything from something that just pops into my head that lives in the idea. There's no nothing down but really a title and an idea. From there, if I think the idea has some legs and needs some more research, I go into the research and planning of it where it has the potential of becoming an edit on my channel. And then it goes into the script and the storyboard. And with the script and the storyboard, that's where I get deep in. I start to write a script, I start to write VOs, I start to write shot lists, I write what this entire edit is gonna look like and basically chapter it all out. From there you hit the production stage, which like we're in right now, we're shooting the video. And once I'm done with the script and storyboard, I hit it in production. I know it's ready to go and ready to shoot whenever that may be. And then the ingest and the edit starts, what I call the fun part. And then eventually you get to the point of it being published. So then you have the production schedule. And for me, uh, production is really a week long with most of these videos. Um, from when I start the storyboard and the scripting to really when I ultimately post the video. And then the publish date, of course, that's the date it's gonna be published. Eventually when I get deeper into this channel, I'll have sponsorships and what sponsors are on what video. So if you wanna sponsor this video, hit me up. And then the payment for that. And then eventually I drop the YouTube URL on here after I schedule my publish date, just so I can have a running tally of all of my links. So if you've made it this far into the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps a lot more than you think. So let's grow this community. Where this app really stands out is you have these things that are like blocks and you can customize and put anything really wherever you want. And with blocks, you can customize almost anything. You can have text, page, to-do list. You can have different headings, tables, bullet points, toggle lists, you can have calendars, you can have links, photos, images, audio, files, anything, tweets, you can have anything in here and those are all blocks. You can put them really wherever you want. So for example, if I come down here, hit a couple enters and say I want to add a new heading, you hit that and here's a new heading. And to delete it, you just come over here and you either delete it like you normally would or hit delete. But another example is you come in here and you can have your to-do list. You can have really anything you want in any area you want. So for me in here, I have title ideas. So struggling with organization and project management, try this. I have thumbnail ideas of what I wanna do with thumbnails and then eventually sponsorship information. And then underneath that, you get really into the nitty gritty of this. And this is where this app has taken everything and put it into one place because before this app, I would have stuff on my things three, 
stuff on pages or word and just different things in different areas of scripts and storyboards and all that stuff but right here it all lives in one place and you click this and it takes you to a whole different page where you have basically a script and for me what's nice is you can still color code in the look of a script if you come up here and you hit mono it looks just like what a script would look like and say you need to type in the intro you come over here, you hit the backslash, and it opens up all of your blocks you can use. So like heading three, and I hit intro. You come over here, and then you can come in here, and you can do literally anything. You can bold, indent, underline. You can make it whatever color you want. And you can do so much within right there, and it all lives within one place. And then say you want to add another page on this to excel off of one other thing, you can just add another page, and right here it goes on to another page and then it will just come down right here and you can just click it. So pages can just be built off of pages within this whole block system. So and then we come back and you have things like posting details. You have a to-do list, script, storyboard, shoot. So I've wrote the script, I've wrote the storyboard. I'm shooting it right now. And then you have your production schedule. And this is a little counterintuitive and little repeat of what's up here, but you come down here and this is where you can really script and storyboard and really plan things out. So like I have my storyboard and my script right here. If I decide I want to shoot B-roll right here, I want to move the edit back, all you do is that. You want to change the day, you come in here, and you change it to, the, say, the 16th. And then the shot list, this is real cool. I emptied it all out so I can show you guys how it works, but say you have a chapter. So say this is shot 1A. Come over here, there's 1A, description. Let's say it's a walk up to the desk and record opening notion come back there it is your tag so i have it as a roll b roll stock screen recorder animation so this would be b roll the shot would be macro close-up medium or wide probably a medium close-up so two shots and then you choose your frame per second and for that it would be 23 and you can do comments location and then when you're eventually done you hit check and that's the shot, you're done with it. So like for another one you would do, come over here and you would do um, record stand up at desk, and then you come back, you could do it all in here too. You come in here and this would be A roll, location would be my desk. You come over here, chapter would be, let's say 2C, just an example, it wouldn't be that. Frames per second, 23 and shot would be a medium shot. And just like that, there's your next shot in there. And then when you get done with it, all you do is the check marks. So that's another example of how you can really use these blocks within this app. And then eventually you have like, I'm using my ACAM as my Fuji. I have my YouTube to post at 8 a.m., YouTube community at 6 p.m., 8 a.m., Instagram story, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. So that's one page that has just one project. So if you go back a page, you have all of the ones I've done and I have it categorized as these different views I can use. So for me, this is my overview view. It starts off how I categorize everything by number and then I have the title, I have the status it's in, I have what series it lives in, I have a production schedule. So once I hit that research and planning stage and the production stage, that's when I really hone in on a production schedule and a publish date and then all of that stuff and you can see the URLs down here but then you can get really customizable and you can have like product statuses so right now I'm in the production of this when I hit the editing stage I'll move it over when this hits the storyboard and script I'll move it over like that so and then published videos these are all the videos I've published so you'll see that they all have links to them and then you'll come over here and I'll have the calendar and this is where the calendar comes in so when I talk about having a production timeline here's like a week of stuff a week of video a week of production and then the date above what the status is is basically the day it's gonna be played so then you come into here and then you have sponsors I don't have any sponsors so it's blank and then you have a table and I have built this table basically customized to just stuff that's in production research and planning or the idea stage so nothing that's a completed video. Say I want to add this to my favorites, you hit the three lines and you hit add to favorite and it populates over here. So I'll remove that from my favorites, but these live within favorites. And what's cool about this is you can then come in over here 
and they'll live within a widget on your iPad or your phone so you can click it and it's just like a hot key away. So my template I really use for this is right here. Uh, it's my YouTube video template. I have a script, storyboard, posting details, production calendar, and shot list. And I click that and within here I can create an all new video idea that I have and from there just make it a number up. So this would be like 31. Come over here and as you can see it's 31 top of my list and it's the first one and this would be uh, let's say drop in with Joseph um, and I won't have a thing yet but we'll say it's an idea right now. And that's how that really works but I like that to be my template. I like to live at the bottom so I always make that double zeros. When I first used this, I was shocked with how much time it took to really jump in and get into what I was really doing in this and how it would basically alleviate my workflow and keep me on task and keep me making the videos when I want videos to go out. And that was the big shocking point for me was that there's a way more organized way to do this. So this is my review of Notion. This is really how I use project management in my everyday life. It's how I keep project management in one place and keep it separate from like my notes and my to-do list and all of those things. And it's really helped me in my everyday life. It's fun to watch these ideas come to life and it's fun to have a running checklist of all of those things happening. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.